this is another one of my favorites. Oh, and I know y'all say I have so many favorites, and I really do. I think all books are just so wonderful for the most part. And um, I can't really pick a favorite, but I do really like this one, and I haven't got to read it yet this year. So it's called Steve, Terror of the Seas, and it's by Megan Brewis. And this is Steve right here. Okay. Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm a very scary fish. Hmm, does he look scary? I don't think so. Hmm, interesting. Small fish are scared of me. Look, all these fish are swimming away from Steve. Swim for your lives, fishes. Wait for me. Hmm. fish and big fish are scared of me. Yikes! Uh-oh. They're all swimming away from little Steve. Hmm. Even fish who are not fish are scared of me. Don't eat me. Hey, swim fast. Swim. This is weird. Everyone under the sea is afraid. <gasps> the terror of the seas. Let's get out of here. Wow. And as for humans, they're terrified. sure what it is that makes me so scary. Hmm. Uh-oh, we're gonna get eaten. That little tiny fish down there. Scared. Hmm. What makes Steve so scary? What do you think it is? Hmm. I mean, I'm not particularly big. I'm about 12 inches. Hmm. 12 inches. And my teeth aren't too bad, are they? They do look a little, a little sharp. Ooh. And though I'm no angelfish, hmm, I've seen far scarier fish in these waters. Have a look for yourselves. May I introduce to you the poisonous pufferfish? I'm the scariest. Actually, I'm the scariest. And look at the fangs on the viper fish. Now, he, ooh, he does look scary. And then over here we have an angler fish. Well, I think I'm rather handsome. An angler fish. My own personal favorite is the toadfish. Not sure why I'm even on this page. <laughs> it actually croaks like a toad. Did you know that? And let's not forget the blobfish. Blob. Blob. Hmm. Finding love. Oh, that's been a challenge. Oh, Keys, would you do a fishy kiss? Can you do a fishy kiss? Do a fishy kiss for me. He's wanting to find love. Steve just wants love. Don't go near him, girls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and being scary can seem like a lonely life. Hmm, look, he's all alone in this great big sea. Everybody's running. But you haven't met my best friend, George. As a friend named George. We go everywhere together. Hey, George. Hey, Steve. Don't scare the fishies. What is George? A shark. Yes, you're right. And George doesn't think I'm scary at 
all. Oh, we're definitely gonna get eaten. Shark, shark. <gasps> so, if they go everywhere together, he said they're always together. Huh, did we miss something on the other pages? Maybe we did. Let's go back and look. Hi, I'm Steve. Remember that part? What do we see here? It's the belly of the shark. And then on that page, and oh, down here, he's on all, there's his fin. He's on all the pages. He's on all of them down here at the bottom. So were the fish really running from Steve? They were not running from Steve or swimming away or get, trying to get away from Steve. They were trying to get away from Steve's best friend, George the shark. So the whole time they weren't running from Steve, but Steve thinks he's scary because they're running from him. But now that's a silly story, but there is some truth to this story. The true part is that oceans can be a very dangerous place for fish. And there are many hungry predators around. So there's some hungry predators like the shark. Some fish do swim in really large groups called schools. And have you ever heard of a school of fish? And that's so that they look big when they blend, their colors blend together. And then they think, other fish will think that they're a large fish instead of a whole bunch of little tiny fish. Now, Steve is a pilot fish. That's what he is. And a pilot fish to choose to a very big, scary friend to protect them. So this is true that pilot fish swim around with a big, scary friend. Yeah. So in return for keeping them safe, pilot fish keep sharks free of harmful parasites, which is something bad that fish don't want. And this friendship is called a mutualistic friendship. Sharks even allow pilot fish to clean their teeth. How cool is that? Pilot fish are not scary at all. But don't tell George, don't tell Steve that. Smile, George, show them your shiny teeth. Look, ah. <laughs> so, don't tell Steve, but he's not really scary. It's really his friend George that's scary. I hope you liked the story about Steve. And um, maybe I could send you some cool videos about pilot fish and what they do to help sharks out. All right, have a great day.